All right, here we go. I'm gonna start taking the linkage off this thing. Start this swap out here. You know, I know all you professional car guys and hot rod people, they already know all this, but safety comes first when you're doing something like this. I went ahead and disconnected my battery. If I were to spark while I'm taking the fuel line apart, we all know what'll happen then. The milkman's baby will go up and smoke and then fun's over. So, what I'm gonna do is take my linkage apart before I pull the fuel line off. That way all this stuff's out of the way. A little easier for me. You gotta do what you can do at your own pace. It's a little easier that way for everybody, I believe. Oh yeah. I know a lot of car guys around this area. We all get together and have some fun. When I break this fuel line loose, I'm gonna have me a old dirty towel ready to soak up some gas. You don't want fuel going underneath the intake and all that. This will probably be the easiest way to soak it up. Cause it's gonna, it's gonna lose some fuel. Like I say, this summer, once I get this thing up and running, this summer we're gonna go enjoy it. And I'll introduce you to some people that I know they have their own business, build their own hot rods. I got some high-end hot rods coming up. I got some low-end hot rods coming up. And you know what I find most interesting? The rat rods and stuff of that nature. Stuff that don't have paint on it is very interesting. People come up with all kind of stuff. My particular ride here, the milkman's baby, it does have paint on it, but I like the stuff that's unfinished as well. Once I get my fuel line off, we'll carry on. Be sure and save all my little parts and pieces.